There is a wedding shop dress in Mexico that's been quite famous for some time now. They are not known for what you'd think though. They do sell wedding dresses and bridal accessories. However, most people visit the shop to seek truth and answers to an urban legend. There is a mannequin standing in the window, modeling dresses that's been there for over 75 years. Her nickname is La Pascloita. The owner of the shop 75 years ago was Pascula Epares, hence the nickname. Most are so captivated by the mesmerizing gaze of the mannequin that they leave convinced that she is a mummy rather than a dummy. Dressed in bridal wear, La Pascaloita is not your average mannequin. Local rumor has it that the mannequin is actually the well-preserved corpse of the owner's daughter, who died from a black widow spider bite just before her own wedding. Amazingly, La Pascaloita has lived in the store window for over 80 years. She made her first appearance on the 25th of March 1930, reportedly wearing a gown from the spring summer collection. Immediately, locals were struck by how real she looked. They were also curiously concerned about her uncanny resemblance to the owner, and given the recent passing of her daughters, rumors of a grisly origin instantly began to swirl around the mannequin. There is even rumor that she changes her position when no one is looking. Even on close inspection, her skin, hands, veins, and hair do look very real. The shop owner and very few trusted employees the only one who get to undress her, so they're the ones who know the real truth. One shop worker, Sonia, had this to say. I have to change the mannequin's outfits twice a week. Every time I go near her, my hands break out in sweat. Her hands are very realistic and she even has veins on her legs. I believe she's a real person. Strangely, this isn't the only story of an alleged doll aging. The family in question has never been named due to wanting to remain anonymous, but the story is simple enough. They were an average couple who had children and one birthday or Christmas they bought their young daughter a regular doll. The doll was loved by the young girl but as with most toys and children's possessions, the doll was forgotten as the daughter outgrew it. Eventually the children moved out, and the parents rather than throw the toys and memories away decided to store them in the attic. Although the doll had been well played with it was still in rather good condition when it was placed in a box and forgotten about. Around 11 years later, the family were having a clean out of the attic, when they stumbled across a rather odd looking doll. The doll was wrinkled like that of a very aged person, the arms were stiff and mummified, and the wrinkles run along the length of its body. It was when they recognized the clothing and other items in the box that their blood ran cold. It was their daughter's doll. Once baby-faced, it had now aged. Incredibly, it aged much in the same way as a human does. The wrinkles were all in the right areas, but it was the eyes that were most haunting. Once those of a doll's, they now looked human. The family got rid of the doll and the new owners soon parted ways of it to a new owner. It's not known where the doll is today or even what it looks like. There's a bit of debate as how the doll aged. A few people, including doll collectors, say the plastic or organic material has degraded. However, many counter those claims with the fact that doll rot normally leaves a doll cracked but not wrinkled like this. Those who take the paranormal stance in regards to this curiosity believe it possibly has an attachment. Maybe some entity has taken up residence from the doll, possibly way back when the daughter would still play with it. Either way, it's a creepy looking doll and interesting story. So what do you think? Is it just an urban legend or do you think that something could be living inside this mannequin? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.